All right, hey guys, so I'm back. I've shot the Color SX70 film from Polaroid Originals, and uh, right off the bat, I'm gonna say that this film is pretty good. Um, it's way better than what I remember from the Impossible Project. I was really happy with uh, the color and the development of the film. So I shot on my, of course, my SX70. That's what the film's for, it's for this camera here. Uh, one of my favorite Polaroid cameras. And uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun shooting it. And uh, I'll show you some of the photos and uh, I'm gonna go into some of the positives and negatives of this film. There's uh, definitely some big positives and definitely some big negatives. So let's get into that right now. All right, so here you go. I got a few photos spread out on this table here and uh, just a quick first look at, uh, just a general look of this film. You can see the colors are really artistic, they're, they're more dreamy, they're vintage, uh, definitely not true to life colors. Uh, I think they skew definitely warm, kind of creamy colors. And uh, yeah, like right away, I, I really liked the look of the film. I was really surprised at the clarity, uh, really happy that the chemicals spread out evenly. And uh, I remember the old Impossible Project film, the the Sometimes the chemicals would just like go over parts of it differently and then there'd be like lines and streaks and stuff. That was no good. But uh, yeah, let's go in for a closer look. I got a few portraits here. I got a few everyday objects in different lighting situations. So let's take a closer look. So this was uh, actually the first photo I took and uh, this was taken in the shade. So once the film ejects, you still gotta protect it from the light. So. After the film ejected, I just put it in my pocket. They say after five minutes, you should be good to take it out. You can watch it develop. After uh, 10 to 15 minutes, you'll get the full image. And yeah, after the first time I looked at it, I was really surprised and just like super happy with the look of the film. Clarity is beautiful. Everything's sharp. And like the, even the details in the blacks, so I was really surprised it caught so much of that detail in her jacket and like, you can see in uh, through her sunglasses and stuff like that. It's just beautiful, creamy skin tones. It's a very artistic look. Here's another one. This one you can see that the colors are yeah definitely vintage, kind of faded. Uh, it does not. It did not look like this in real life. Obviously, like that's black. That's bright yellow. That's bright blue. In real life so you can see that the colors you get from this is definitely more artistic you're not gonna be getting colors like the Fuji Instax those are really kind of true to life uh, but I love this I love this look I love taking portraits and doing more artsy stuff this this is the right film for me here we go this is the one that was taken indoors just everyday objects window light and uh, Probably should have exposed this a little bit brighter, but no, it's nice. You can see the clarity. Like, I really love the sharpness of this new film. You can see, like, just the lines and everything is super sharp. So as long as you're getting it, the sharpness right in, uh, in camera, you're going to get, like, super sharp photos as well. Super happy with that. So this was taken in uh, broad daylight, super sunny conditions. Once the film ejected, it was, it was in daylight, not in the shade. So uh, I just quickly took it and put it against my body to shield it from the light. And yeah, it developed perfectly fine. Uh, and again, clarity is beautiful. The colors are old, vintagey. I think they skew warm, kind of tend towards the greens. But uh, I really dig the colors. So Polaroid Originals, you guys are on the right track. I think if they can really just, uh, just tone it a bit more, and maybe like kind of boost the contrast maybe a little more or uh, saturation, but uh, it's beautiful, beautiful film. Really good job, Polaroid Original. Super happy with this. So uh, now that you saw the photos, you can see that the SX70 film from Polaroid Originals, the colors are very artsy. It's a uh, very vintage and kind of uh, faded and you know not perfect, but that's kind of what you would buy this film for. It's a more artistic look. It's, it's not the picture perfect, uh, real life kind of look, but uh, I love it. It's really, really good. And the development of it was really nice. Uh, it 
it was nice and even. There's no, sometimes the older films, like the chemicals just didn't really uh, cover the entire plane properly. You can see from the photos, it's uh, really good. Um, now, the negatives. Obviously, the big uh, elephant in the room is that shooting this film isn't cheap. It's uh, really, really expensive, especially if you're in Canada, uh, where I'm from. Uh, I, I bought a pack at a local store and it cost me uh, $35 Canadian. It was crazy. I uh, looked at the receipt, I was, thought there was a mistake, but uh, nope, that's how much one pack cost me there. Um, Maybe it was like just because it was new or something, maybe pricing will go down, but uh, I kind of uh, went online, checked out the Polaroid Originals website too, and did a little price breakdown. So uh, if you live in the US, it's $19 a pack for an SX-70 film, and uh, it's free shipping over 75 bucks, so obviously you'd want to buy multiple packs at once to save costs on shipping. Then it works out, you know, there's eight shots in a pack, at, uh, about $19 it's about like 2.50 a shot which is you know it's not cheap $2.50 a photo it's uh, pretty expensive uh, it'd be awesome if they could work to get to like a dollar a photo that would be amazing or they need to figure out how to fit 10 photos in the pack because eight photos for uh, $19 you know like that's gonna add up if if you're someone that really likes to shoot uh, instant film uh, so that's in the US. So if you're in the US, you know, it's not too bad. Uh, but if you're in Canada, that's when it really hurts. So if you're on the Polaroid original website, it's uh, it's 23.45 Canadian a pack plus $18 for shipping. Then you're looking at about $42 for one pack. One pack, $42 Canadian. Um, so obviously you wouldn't buy one pack at a time. You'd want to bunch your order together to save money on, uh, on shipping. So uh, you'd want to you want to order in bulk at least four packs to make it worth it and then uh and then you're still it's still really expensive over two dollars a shot that's crazy uh if it's gonna catch on it needs to come down in price i think it's it's way too much um and then now we're looking at uh from a store so my local camera store was selling it for 32 dollars a pack uh which is obviously super inflated uh but I guess it's like you're buying one pack. If you if you bought one pack only online, uh, it would cost forty two dollars Canadian. So I guess you're saving money if you're buying just one pack. But uh, yeah, to get the best bang for your buck, buy multiple packs. Uh, save on shipping. If you're in the states, you know, get that free shipping. This film, it's amazing. It's really really great. Polaroid Originals is doing a great job. They're on the right track to get those colors to get that that feeling back, the great instant photography feeling. But yeah, the only thing they gotta do is really just work on the pricing, uh, give value to the customers, cause uh, for eight photos, when you're paying over like 20 bucks a pack, oh, it's a hard pill to swallow, you know? Um, definitely something that's for special occasions I would reserve it for if you're working on a project or you just, you know, just wanna shoot it once in a while, it's okay. Other than the pricing, this film's awesome. I think you should go, everyone should just do themselves a favor. If you're a fan of instant photography, grab yourself at least one pack and, uh, you know, shoot it and see how you feel. See if it's worth your money. For me, I think, uh, I think it's worth, worth the money. I'll probably uh, be very conscious in uh, ordering bulk by a bunch at once and then uh, not to shoot it too often. And, uh, you know, just got to be smart about it. Well, I uh, hope you enjoyed this review of the film, and uh, yeah, let me know what you think about the film if you've shot it. All right.